Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am excited to film this video today because tomorrow is Valentine's Day. And whether you're spending Valentine's Day with friends, with your boyfriend, significant other, your husband, wherever, we all wanna do you know, a nice Valentine's Day look. So reds, pinks, smoky, I don't know, but I just like to play around with my Valentine's Day look every single year. So I decided to share with you guys me creating my look for tomorrow. Um, and this is what I came up with. And if you're interested in how I got this look, this kind of neutral, smoky, red lip type look, very classic Valentine's Day, um, then keep on watching. Okay guys, so let's get started with this look. So I kind of have an idea of what I want to do. I saw this picture a few weeks ago. It's just a very smoky neutral eye with a kind of berry red lip and that's kind of what I'm going for. I do this every year where I just kind of sit down and I'm like, let's see what happens. So I'm gonna go in with my Mary Kay oil free hydrating gel. I'm gonna get a little bit on my finger and I'm just gonna hydrate my face. And I'm quite dry today. Now I'm gonna go in with my NYX Photo Finish Studio Perfector Primer. This is the green one. It's gonna help calm down any of my redness and tone down the discoloration. A little chapstick. Prepped. All right, so for this look, it's really nice, dewy skin with a dramatic eye. So I'm gonna keep the skin light. So I'm gonna use my CC cream. So I'm gonna be going in with my Mary Kay Medium to Light CC Cream. I'm just gonna do two pumps of this. Now, this look is super dewy, so I'm gonna make it a little extra dewy, and I'm gonna go in with my Frisari Unicorn Oil, and I'm just gonna put a few drops of this in my foundation. So just one big drop right there. And then I just kind of grab my Morphe E6. Um, foundation brush. I just kind of blend that all together and then I just apply that all over my face. And I stipple and kind of brush on. Okay, blend that out with my beauty blender. All right, so in the picture, her brows are super natural and kind of more hair-like. So I'm going to take my Sephora angled brush um, and I'm gonna go in with how to make brows. Wow. And this is just the cheapest little palette at Ulta, but it works for me. I don't need much on my brows because they're tattooed. Um, so I'm gonna go in with the Love Em All lightly. And I'm gonna just start taking that up into my brow and I'm just going to start brushing up. I'm going to do motions up and brush the powder in to my brows and just kind of flick it up. So it blends in with your brow hairs and looks super natural. Done. All right. So I'm gonna zoom you back out. There we go. I'm looking quite pale today. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Adrienne Wine and this isn't fair and I'm just gonna kind of prep my eyes and take this up under the brow and in the lid of my eye.
that just kind of gets our found, um, our eyelids ready, prepped and ready for that shadow. Today we're going to be using a mixture of my Morphe um, Bronzed Mocha Palette and my Anastasia Sultry Palette. Um, I couldn't decide between the two, so we're just going to use both today. Um, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia and I'm going to go in this fresh color. I'm just going to kind of highlight my brow bone and set that underneath the brows. Okay. All right, so kind of nervous. Sometimes I don't know how it looks going to turn out and I'm just like, let's just roll with it. Okay, so. Okay, so in the picture, she kind of has this neutral smoky with like a hint of pink. So I'm gonna go in with first the bronze mocha palette and I'm gonna go in with this light transition color right here on the first row. And I'm gonna be using the Morphe M441. I'm just gonna kind of dab that in there. Use my mirror over here. <laughs> Blow off the excess. Gonna kind of pat that into the outer corner and slowly work our way up into the crease. And this palette is super pigmented, so you have to be very careful. Oh, hello, that is my eyeball. I'm using swirling like motions just to blend that up into the crease. I'm just blending that all out. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia palette and I'm gonna take this bloom color right here. It looks very pink, but I swatched it and it doesn't <laughs> come off very pink. Let's see. Yeah, that's really pink, but you know, we're gonna roll with it. I'm just gonna blend that in with my other transition color. And just give it a nice pink hint along with that orange transition color. Now we're going back in with that Morphe pot. I'm going to go in with this color right here. It's on the third row. Just kind of a nice bronzy shimmer color. I think I'm going to mix that with the rose quartz in the sultry palette. I just have no rhyme or reason. I just kind of like to, ooh, I like that a lot. Okay. I do the same thing when I'm like cooking. I just kind of improvise and just kind of go with it. I just make things up. That's why I'm a terrible makeup tutorial girl. I'm gonna take that all the way to mid lid. It's kind of messy right now. It's not very blended. Now I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush on this blendable side. And I'm going to go in with Teak. Teak in this palette. I'm going to dip that in there. And then just take that on the outer corners. Really concentrate that on the outer edges. And just blend that out. Okay. Now I'm going to go back in with that first transition color. Do you remember this one? That one? Right there and take that with the Anastasia brush. And I'm just gonna kind of blend that out with all of this. Blow off the excess, tap. And take that all and just use it as just a blend all, fix all. Okay, okay, I like it, I like it. I like it a lot. Now I'm gonna do the other side. 
Okay guys, all right, so that is done. All right, now this look is really, really smoky and almost kind of sexy almost. So I'm gonna go in with black eyeliner, which I normally don't do just cause I like a softer look. But since it's Valentine's Day, I mean, I guess we can. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this Cream Mary Kay black liner. I'm just gonna kinda, first I'm going to, no, this is gonna be tricky, so. I'm gonna go underneath and just kinda push that up into my lashes. I know this can be kind of weird for someone who's never done this before. Okay. And then I'm going to kind of line the top right and hug that lash line. I'm done with that. Now, this is my trick to making it a little softer. I'm gonna take my Morphe M432 brush. It's just kind of a flat shader brush. And I'm just gonna take that in the Noir, and it's the black eyeshadow right there. Very lightly, you just tap. And I'm just gonna kind of smoke that out. I don't have much eyeshadow on there. And I'm just gonna run that along the lash line. And I just smoke that out in a flick. Make the eyeliner a little softer. And sometimes I'll even go back in and take the shimmery color and just take that on top of it and mix it with the black. Cause I like that area to have some shimmer as well. And done. All right now, I'm gonna take that brush that we were using to use that transition shade and any just harsh lines I just like to kind of go over and do all this. All right, done. And now I've made a complete mess of myself. Like, oh my God, I look like I've been like beat up. <laughs> like, okay. All right, so now that I've made a complete mess underneath my eyes, because I do tend to get messy with shimmery shadows, I'm gonna take a baby wipe and wipe that away. Okay, <laughs> just a regular baby wipe. Get this underneath. I'm gonna go underneath my eyes. Now to finish the rest of our face, I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Age Rewind again. This isn't fair and I'm just gonna Take care of these dark circles real quick. They need some help. I'm gonna triangle under my eyes. And I'll take it up into the inner corners of my eyes. Just cause I like those to look really open. Down the bridge of my nose. All right, now we're just gonna take my beauty blender and blend that out. Now that the concealer is blending out, I'm just gonna take my Mary Kay translucent powder, and I am going to just pat that underneath my eyes. I don't need much. Just enough to set that under eye and I'll take the excess all over my face. And then I'll take my Sephora big large powder brush and just brush that away and take the excess up into the rest of my face to set that. I'm looking at the picture as I'm doing this and I'm really, really liking it. Okay, so this picture is actually kind of light on the bronzer, so I'm not gonna go super heavy as I normally would um, for this type of look. 
So I'm gonna take my Sephora Kabuki brush and I'm gonna go in with my Revlon bronzer, $6 at Ulta. I love this bronzer. I like how it has some iridescence in it. And this is called, this is the shade Golden Days. I'm gonna take the larger side. Hmm, get this. Take this up to my temples and just start blending down and up. I'm gonna take what's left on my brush and put that in my cheeks. Along my hairline. And take it up into my jaw. Take that right where we applied that bronzer down the bridge of her nose, above our lip. I'm gonna take that brush we used earlier to highlight our brows. I'm gonna take a highlighter into the inner corners. All right, so for this blush, it's kind of really, really pinky. Nice baby pink. I'm gonna use Baby Doll by Tarte. I'm gonna use my um, Revlon blush brush. And take that up. I'm not gonna go right on the apples of our cheeks because she kind of has it kind of like blended into the bronzer. Okay, there we go. All right, now we're gonna finish off the eyes. We're gonna go back in with that Sultry palette. We're gonna take our um, flat shader side of the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. And I'm gonna go in with that transition color from the Morphe palette that we used, that one, okay? And I'm gonna take that underneath my eyes. And I'm gonna go in with our bronzer that we used. And I'm just gonna kinda blend this underneath my eye as well. This is just super nice because it blends the bronzer in with the shadow and they keep it super light under the eye in the picture. So that's what we're gonna do. They do have a little bit of black eyeliner, but it is right there on the lashes and it's very minimal. I use the lightest hand possible when applying that. Okay. All right, I think that's pretty much done. All right, smoky eye right there. All right, now let's back up and let's go in with our lashes. And then just a step for me, I like to brush up my brows so they look more natural, just with some clear brow gel. And that's kind of how she has them in the picture, kind of just untamed natural. So to prep for our lashes, I'm going to go ahead and curl them. I'm just going to be using my Tweezer Men's Eyelash Curler. And I am just going to prep those up. Okay, now that our lashes are curled, I'm going to be using my Mary Kay Ultimate Black Mascara. I'm just going to apply this on my lashes. Now we're gonna do our lashes. And if I'm being honest, I'm really liking how my eye makeup's turning out so far. I think it's looking very similar to the picture, honestly. Like, especially close up. So now I'm gonna take my lashes. The glue's already tacky, and I'm just gonna place those on. And these lashes are Kiss, the number 11s. All right, just a little trick, just to make this more like the picture, she kind of smokes it out a little bit with black eyeshadow. So I'm gonna take just this Mermaid flat shader brush and I'm just gonna go back in with Noir. Just gonna kind of line that lash line with that black eyeshadow. Okay. 
Okay. And done with the eyes. All right. Now for lips, I'm gonna go in with kind of like this berry shade. I love this red lipstick. It's e.l.f. It's cranberry. And it's very similar to the color in the picture. So I'm going to go in with this. All right guys, and then let's spray our face. I'm gonna be using the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Just spray that all over your face. Let that dry. All right guys, this is the finished look. I am very happy with it, honestly, and I will be wearing this for Valentine's Day, surprisingly. Nine times out of 10, I am a perfectionist and don't like how it turns out, but I am quite happy with this. And I think it looks very similar to the picture. I just love a neutral smoky and a berry lip. I love this lipstick, by the way. It's a great buy. It's $3. It's a nice creamy formula and it's just great to like throw in your car. I have like seven of them just like in my purse in my car. It's great. Well, anyway, guys. I hope that you get a chance to wear this look on Valentine's Day tomorrow. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and hit the subscribe button. And I'll have a video out this Friday. And thank you so much for watching. And let me know if you have any questions. Bye.